I'm Corey Carmichael here at the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium, where the Tigers rallied back from a 28-point deficit at halftime and scored 26 unanswered points in the second half, but fell to Southern Methodist University 34-29. SMU scored first on a 79-yard touchdown pass from Garrett Gilbert to Keenan Holman. Memphis responded with the second longest field goal in school history when Jake Elliott kicked the 52-yarder, his 11th consecutive made field goal. On the Mustangs' next drive, a three-and-out forced a punt, which DeRue Ridgeway blocked and recovered at SMU's 28-yard line. The Mustangs would score on four of their next five drives. A pair of rushing touchdowns by Traylon Shedd put SMU ahead 21-3. A field goal extended the lead, and Gilbert threw an eight-yard touchdown pass to Colin Legasse to put the Mustangs ahead 31-3 going into the half. In the second half, Memphis' defense held the Mustangs to three points and forced three turnovers. After SMU kicked a 31-yard field goal, Memphis scored 26 unanswered points. With a minute left in the third, Shedd fumbled and Ryan Coleman scooped the ball up and ran it in for a touchdown. In the fourth quarter, Coleman recovered another fumble for a touchdown, this time stripping the ball from a punt returner. On their next drive, SMU drove to the Tigers' seven-yard line before Regis Ball intercepted Gilbert's pass and returned it for 93 yards. The touchdown was called back, but the Tigers scored on a Brandon Hayes run two minutes later. They're going to run right, they give the ball, it's to Hayes, and he breaks it the other way, misdirection. In Brandon Hayes. The Tigers closed out the game on a last-second touchdown pass from Lynch to Frazier. After the game, we talked to Coleman, Martin Effetti, and head coach Justin Fuente. That was my plan, because I wait for the cutback. My I protect the B and C guy. That's, my, that's why I fold. So when he began to cut back, when he began to cut back, I find, I find him in the ball. And when I found him, and when he cut across me, the ball was facing me. And when the ball was facing me, I said, I mean, I felt it. I just snatched reaction once the strip. We practiced stripping. We practiced getting the ball out. And when you practice it so much, it becomes second nature. We knew that the second half was going to define us as a football team and program. So we knew we had to come out and do what we're used to doing as a defense. So we just regrouped and rallied back in the second half. We knew in the first half everything that they got, we gave them. So as a defense, we just need to tighten down and do our job a little bit better. So that really helped us out in the second half to shut them out or hold them totally three points. You know, they, they played well on defense. They had two weeks to prepare for us, but that's certainly not an excuse. Um, you know, they just came out and played better than we did on both sides of the ball. I thought our special teams did a heck of a job. Um, so. I don't know. We'll look at the film, and, and we've got a little bit of a long week here. We'll evaluate everything and uh, see where we're at.